What is up, PD Party? We are back for episode 13, hopefully lucky number 13, for our Madden week-to-week -week franchise with the Jacksonville Jaguars. And, of course, at head coach and general manager, the birthday boy, Tony Khan. Tony Khan just turned 38 this last Saturday, so hopefully he had a great time celebrating his birthday with his NFL family, with his AEW Pro Wrestling family. Hopefully he's not too hungover for today's episode against our division rival, the Houston Texans, who had a huge week. They were 0-4 in real life, had not won a game. They had to cut Bill O'Brien. We'll still be facing him today, but before we even get into that, let's see what happened in real life. Put one minute on the clock, review highlights of what happened in real life with the Jacksonville Jaguars, and see how it compares to how we do in our game. So, throw a minute on the clock. Ready, set, go. So the Jacksonville Jaguars gave the Houston Texans, led by head coach Romeo Cornell's first win of the season. That's a positive, at least for the Texans. Positives for the Jaguars. Uh, Keelan Cole did have a nice touchdown grab. Colin Johnson, rookie wide receiver out of Texas, our second string tight end, got his first touchdown and an awesome grab in the end zone, diving grab. James Robinson didn't have a great game. It wasn't a bad game, but did not surpass 100 yards through the air or ground. Gardner Minshew did have two touchdowns and 300 yards, but had a costly fumble towards the end of the game. Of course, Deshaun Watson had a great game, throwing all over the Jacksonville Jaguars defense. He just tore them apart on the ground through the air. It was a pretty rough performance. And Jacksonville Jaguars kicker missed two field goals. Two field goals, which were huge momentum killers. So happy we have a superstar kicker in Josh Lambeau this year. And there's our minute. To look at the standings, I, I didn't look at them last week. We are number two at two and two. The Colts are three and one. And the Texans are one and three. If we lose here, we'll be tied with the Texans. We definitely don't want that. We want to breach the gap between the Colts. And to address one more thing, you saw how bad the stream was last week. Wreck-It Ralph did not only break the internet, he broke our Madden franchise for one week. I bought an ethernet cord, just give you a peek behind the scenes. I'm streaming from my Xbox One, downloading it to my Twitch on my Mac, and then editing. Now I'm using an ethernet cord directly to my router. Did some other setting changes, so hopefully it's not super glitchy and almost unusable like it was last week, <laughs> AKA Wreck-It Ralph wrecked our stream. Our first breakout player of the season. Our defensive coordinator, Coach. Have you been paying attention to Joe Schobert? G.I. Joe Schobert? Of course. He's a true American hero. He played an awesome game last week. Keep an eye on that guy. If he has another big game against the Texans this week, we might have a future superstar in our hands. He's a star right now, but if he gets uh, two interceptions, of two forced fumbles, tackle for a loss, or two sacks, he will be a superstar, which Love having extra superstars on the team. What is up, Jay Gruden? Hey, coach. Any thoughts on how we're going to handle J.J. Watt this week? I mean, the guy's a powerhouse. He doesn't set the edge. He annihilates. And I don't know if we have an offensive tackle that can match him strength for strength. Yeah, I don't think we can, too. That, those are our weak spots. Our two uh, tackles, Cam Robinson and Juan Taylor. Um, I, I think we got to commit to slowing down. There's nowhere we're going to neutralize him. I mean, he got Bill O'Brien fired. What will he do to our offensive line? I agree, Watt is going to be a problem, but we'll strategize ways to minimize his impact. It's all we can do. If we do attempt any deep passes, which I strongly advise against, make sure the quarterback audibles to max protection at the line of scrimmage to prevent sacks. We'll need as many blockers as we can get. Totally agree, JJ Watt's our only X Factor on the team. Gotta slow him down. We're going back to the table with DD Westbrook. He denied it, he said, show me the money. He wants a little bit more bonus. Let's uh, Give that bonus up to 305. <laughs> so this week we scouted running backs since last week's running back performance was not great from either James Robinson or LaVisca Chenault. If we had to pick a winner for who's the best person we scouted for the value, it would be CJ Verdell. He is going in the second round, but rated as an early first rounder. He'll be someone we keep our eye on, that Oregon back. 
Duck, quack, quack. And time for training camp for the week. We are back from training for the week. Let's see who we can upgrade. Starting out first, former Packer, our backup safety, Josh Jones. Let's add run support since that's a scheme fit. Brings up to 69, haha, -ha. overall. Up next, we have backup running back special teamer, Dare Agawale. Uh, we'll bump up his receiving back again as a scheme fit. 67 overall. And the biggest upgrade for this week is Miles Jacker starting right outside linebacker. We definitely need help with the pass coverage. And it is a scheme fit, bumping him up to 82 overall. So we re signed DD Westbrook to a long term deal, upgraded some players, and we're going to get right to the game. I know last week we had a lot of different transactions. We got Geno Smith, we got David and Joku, a bunch of other trades. Let's just get straight to the game. Hopefully, Wreck It Ralph doesn't come in and break our Madden franchise again. And I just want to let you know, we are still on All Madden. If we lose today, we will bump down to All Pro. I made some changes behind the scenes too. I edited some of our playbooks, see if we can get a better offensive performance today and less turnovers from yours truly, downtown PD Brown. So we are facing the Houston Texans, our division rival. We are 82 overall. They are 80 overall. Let's check out their superstars and X Factors. Yo, you dealing with the X Factor. What you looking at? And we are at NRG Stadium for our second road game in a row going against our division rival, the Houston Texans. We are one game ahead of them in the standings. We need to get this win. Larry Fitzgerald still had a touchdown. I think he has three touchdowns, three games in a row. Hopefully he can come up big for us this week and I don't throw picks trying to throw to him like last week. And Deshaun Watson takes the field, the superstar quarterback. Nine touchdowns, four interceptions. We definitely need to do some QB spies today. Hopefully he doesn't run amok on us. Okay, guys, we got a new playbook, new scheme. Let's bring the pressure. Don't let Deshaun run on us. That's what I'm talking about. First play, Desmond King with his third pick with us. Can it be a pick six to open it up? It is. We are on all Madden. Opening play, pick six, Desmond King. Our new acquisitions from the LA Chargers a couple weeks ago. Look at that. Snag, scoop from Will Fuller. Looks like our new defensive playbook is paying off. Hey guys, we held him without a yard so far. Third and 10, let's stop him. Come on, Gino. Of course, dump off to the tight end. Do we hold him though? Do we hold them? What? Oh, oh, I wish you could challenge that. They have such trash tight ends. They have O'Shaughnessy on their team. Why'd you have to push him forward? We had that stop. Hey guys, gotta do better. We pushed the tight end forward on that last play to get a first down. Let's not let them get momentum. Too much time. Way, way. Hey guys, we had them second and long. They're third and short. Let's get a stop. Yo, Joe! We'll fight for freedom. Wherever there's trouble, G.I. Joe is there. G.I. Joe. What's the matter with you, boy? Well, I've been rooting for this team. You've been stalling on the field. Jacksonville, eat you. 
Oh, and Joku dropped the pass he should have caught. Puts us in a tough spot here. Definitely don't want to pick. I want something to happen here. Right there. Oh, ah, cool. Cool beans. I should just take the sack. Don't play. Don't play by me. I just gave away the momentum. Should have took the sack. That was my fault. Another pick from Gardner Minshew. Way, way too much time, fellas. Way too much time. Okay, guys, keep the stop. Keep him out of the end zone. Way too much time. Way, way too much time. Oh, man, their trash tight end got on us. We have way, way too much time. Jordan Atkins, the only guy who's been doing stuff on their team, got a trash touchdown. Right there, Larry, Larry. Oh, hang on to it, Larry. You're my man. You always hang on to that stuff. Larry Legend, that's how I call you that. Legendary. Got the new offensive playbook. Let's use one of those new plays. Love this play in Madden uh, 20. Hopefully it works here. Don't want to go three and out. Right there, DJ. Get that first. There we go. Might have been sloppy. Still got our first first down of the game. I'll take it at this point. We need to get our offense back on track. It's been a rough two games. LaVisca, I'm going to keep feeding you. We need to get a run game going. Let's get one. Why? Oh, please don't say it's a hold. If it's a hold, I'm going to cry. Hey, Gardner, hopefully you can actually uh, wipe off your hands. You know, don't be so sweaty on the controller. Make a better pass. There we go, DJ. DJ Shark, come on. Eat up those yards like a shark. That's what I'm talking about. Big play by DJ Shark. No turnovers, we at least need a field goal here. Larry, dude, Gardner, come on. I want to keep you a starting quarterback, but dude. Hey guys, gave him a touchdown on the last drive. Wasn't totally your fault, but you gotta hold him here. Don't just give him a first down on the first play, come on. And a flag. Come on, zero pressure, dudes. Wide open guy. Let's go, guys. Getting carved up by Will Fuller. Got to bring the heat. Got to bring the pressure. It's like we were doing earlier this game. Got a Gan, man. Another first down. Two in a row. Hey, guys. Two first downs in a row. We got to slow them down. They're already at midfield. Right there. Oh, come on. I was right there. Make a tackle. It's Atkins. He's a terrible tight end. One more play, guys. One more play. Get a stop. Keep him out of the end zone. Come on. Bring the pressure. Bring the heat. What, what? the heck? Atkins for his second touchdown. He was what wide open. This is unacceptable. They have, like, the worst tight ends in the league. He's probably the worst starting tight end in the league. Wide open. I could have made that catch. I'm terrible at football, and I could have made that catch. Let's see if we can get a pass here because our run game is still being stalled. There you go, DJ. Another big gain. I think we can get something good here on this play again. DJ chark has been on fire today. Bailing us out like a G. He does it again. Want to protect that man. Second good game in a row of DJ Chark. Two first downs in a row. Almost 100 yards here in the first half. See if we can call one of my favorite plays here. See if this will actually work. DJ Chark just bailing me out. Be smart. Get that first. Good job, Chark. Finally, Gardner Minshew's throwing some good balls here. We need some momentum on the run game. It's pathetic at this point. Chenault's doing nothing. Did it? Oh! That's literally the worst thing you can do, Chenault. Thank you, man. Thank you. You're benched. You're benched, brother. Going to the half, just down by a little. There we go. Almost a safety, guys. Let's go. I'm going to call a timeout. Let's bask in this. Gino Atkins, first sack as a Jaguar. Let's get a safety, boys. Let's get some points. Was that it? Was that a safety? Ah, oh, so close. 
See if we can at least get a field goal here. 53 yards, but we got a superstar. There we go. At least going into the half a little better, a little sitting better after that terrible fumble by LaVisca Chenault. Yeah, we're down. We should be up a lot more. We got some better momentum going into halftime. Had some bad turnovers, a terrible turnover by Gardner Minshew. I'll take blame on that. But we need to cover tight ends better. They have Atkins. He's terrible. Cover that bad tight end. Hey, guys, don't want to start the half going three and out. Just got a sack, got a bad run. Let's uh, do something maybe. DJ Chark. Thank you. LaVisca, here's your last shot. James Robinson got the last run. Wasn't bad. Three yards. You fumbled your last carry. What can you do? Impress us. Why? Of course. It's going to be a hold. He actually had a decent run, and then there's a hold. Now it's second and ten. So we made up at least for the holding. See if we can uh, actually convert here. DJ, dude, you're on fire, my dude. Another first down. DJ Chark over 150 yards. I don't care if we spam Chark all game. Great, J.J. Watt made a play at the line. That is wonderful. 54-yard field goal. We got a superstar kicker. Please, dude. Please, Lambo. We need all the momentum we can get. Man, it's good to have a superstar kicker. I make jokes about it all the time, but it's better than what the Jaguars have in real life. They're missing easy field goals. We're getting these big ones. Hey, guys, let's bring the heat. Let's keep it on just like we did at the end of the half. Come on, dudes. What kind of tackling was that? Are you kidding me? It's Duke Puke Johnson. It's Puke Johnson. Can't let him get in field goal range. Or just let him get, you know, wide open. Okay, guys, they're already in field goal range. Got to push him back. A turnover. Hey, Desmond King, you want to dial up another pick six? Would love that. Or just give up another first down. So you can't complain about me using slants because they're using it all the time on us too. Man, we got it covered. Oh, now it's way too much time. Get around the end zone. Keep him out of the end zone. Hey, guys, give it three first downs in a row. Please, let's make a stop. Keep him out of the end zone. Show some pride. Really? Going to let Puke Johnson get a touchdown? Come on, guys. You were doing so good at the beginning. Now you're just letting anything happen. You let Puke Johnson score a touchdown on you. Pathetic. I know, Gardner. I know, man. Okay, Gardner, we need to answer back. DJ Chark, you've been doing your job and much, much more. Guess it's going to be a shootout today. Switch it up. We've been running usually at start, but let's pass it. Larry, please keep that in bounds. Good job, Larry. First catch of the day, I think. If he dropped one earlier. Great catch. First down to open the drive. There we go, DJ. Good pass, Gardner. Yeah, let's start first down with the pass here. See what we can do. Chark, another first down, two in a row. Chris Thompson did not give us faith in our running backs by dropping that pass, so let's see what we can do here on second. Oh, is that pass interference? That's why I like to see DJ Chark. Might not have caught it, almost had an awesome one-handed catch. Draws P.I., gets us another first down. He's moving the chains for us all day long. Another first down. Oh, almost a touchdown. Okay, guys, we got to get in the end zone. We're so close. Looks like I have to pass it here. D -D. There we go, D.D. D.D. Going for two here, a little nervous, calling the same play. Hopefully he can make it, make another conversion with the same play. Right there, Didi. There you go, Didi not only gets a touchdown, he gets a two point conversion. We're up by a field goal, let's do this. Hey guys, let's finish strong here. Uh oh, now he's gonna rush. Really throw across the body. That's BS. Come on. Bring the heat again. He hopefully he throws a pick this time. 
Way too much time, guys. Way too much time. Get him, get him, get him. There we go, Josh Allen. You've been kind of quiet this year, but you made a big play. You can't see me. John C. Okay, guys. Third down. Let's go. We need to stop here desperately. This could be the game. Not today. Good stop, Sydney. Guess they're going for it fourth down. Makes sense. One more stop, guys. Sydney Jones had a great stop the last play. More of that. Desmond King, another pick. His second pick of the game. Can he get another two? Pick six games. Go, 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 go. Yes, Desmond King with his second two pick six game of the year. So glad we got this guy locked out long term. Okay, defense. Just got a pick six. We're up by 10. Let's hold him. Don't get cocky. No. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. 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 Hell no. 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 I refuse. No. No. Okay, guys, got James Robinson in here, our power back. Hopefully, we can just milk the clock by running it out, but something tells me that's not going to happen. Good run! I was wrong. James Robinson having our best run of the game coming in the fourth quarter when we need it the most. Please lower my stress, James Robinson. Get a first down here, milk another timeout. Good job, James. Man, you might have to be our starter. Hey, guys, got to pick up this first down. Let's go. Milk some clock. DJ. Of course I'd throw a pick there. That's exactly what I would do there. That's fun. Second interception to a defensive end. They knew I was going to DJ Chark. They knew it. They knew it. Caught a lot of audibles here. I'm getting super nervous. Come on, guys. Don't let them beat us. Be smarter than them. Really? He caught that pass? That is BS. BS pass. BS catch. Way too much time, guys. Really? Great. Oh, what? You want to catch? You want to catch it? Hey guys, one last play. See what we can do. Larry Legend. Larry Legend. Oh my god, Larry Fitzgerald with the walk-off touchdown. Legendary. Wasn't having a huge game, but gets the touchdown to win it. Do you believe in miracles, Billy O'Stooge? Because you should. You just witnessed one. You just got beat by the Jacksonville Jaguars and Larry Legend on the very last play. One second left. Larry Fitzgerald caught it in the end zone. That's what I'm talking about. Woo! Man, I was getting so down, so depressed. But then Larry Fitzgerald, oh, man, he spoke to me. He saved me. We had way too many turnovers that game. We had two pick sixes. You can't lose a game when you have two pick sixes. But we didn't. Larry Fitzgerald bailed us out. Gardner Minshew had a great pass. Larry Fitzgerald building that legendary legend. Bye-bye, Deshaun. Great game, though. Let's look at the stats. Gardner Minshew did have two picks, but he did throw that amazing touchdown to legendary Larry Fitzgerald to win the game. So all's well that ends well. we got to clean up his turnovers. Rushing, I think we got a new starter. James Robinson had some great first down pickups. We were trying to milk the clock. LaVisca Chenault, however, fumbled it at the goal line on the one-yard line. I think we might have to switch over to James Robinson as our starter. Sorry, LaVisca. Receiving DJ Chark at almost at 250 yards, 15 catches. Yeah, we were spamming the slants, but so were the Texans. We're on all Madden. We'll do whatever it takes to win. 
He had, didn't have a touchdown, but he almost had 250 yards. Larry Fitzgerald had a game-winning touchdown, and D.D. Westbrook, who we just signed to a long-term deal this week, had a short slant touchdown, and he got two-point conversion. Let's see on defense. Desmond King, of course, he had it was top tackling too. He had two pick sixes, two interceptions, amazing game. Earl Thomas had five tackles and the most tackles on the team. Tackles for a loss, Earl Thomas had one. Geno Atkins had one. G.I. Joe had one. Carlton Davis had one. Shale Von Saison had one. Drew Tranquil had one. A lot of tackles for loss. Joe Sherbert had 1.5. Oh, we're so close. I wonder if he's gonna be a superstar. Josh Allen had a nice sack. Geno Atkins had a big sack. Got some half sacks for Von Miller. And Josh Jones, too. Man, that was a rough one. But we got a win. All's well that ends well. Let's see who we can upgrade after that amazing last-second victory. Josh Lambeau had two long field goals, I think over 50 yards. Let's uh, bump up his... Let's do power. Let's bring up that power just in case we need to uh, have him kick another long field goal another game. But he had a great game, unlike the Jacksonville Jaguars kickers in real life. We can also improve Jared Wilson, backup safety. In real life, he actually did have an interception, almost had a pick six. Brings us up to 74 overall. You see Joe Schobert today? What did I tell you? There's something special about that guy, and I think he'd be a legitimate cornerstone of this team. And we got Joe Schobert, superstar development trait. What a game. G.I. Joe, true American superstar. Nice win, coach. Watt did his best to shut us down, but it wasn't enough. And that's why you play the game. Madden toyed with my heart. We had two pick sixes we were about to lose, but legendary Larry caught a pass from Minshew Mania. One second left, gave us a win over a divisional rival, 37 to 35. Our defense definitely needs to step up, but we got the win. That's why you watch this channel. You never know what's gonna happen on the Madden week to week franchise. Do you guys have any suggestions for the series, trades I should make, series features, anything like that? Let me know in the comments. I want to hear from you guys and make this series as fun as possible for you. Like, share, subscribe. Appreciate all your support. Trying to make this big. Please be a part of the PD party. Subscribe today and help me do that. Thank you guys for watching. And of course, as always, keep on dancing.